Hi, it's Timo. Welcome to Norwich City Central. Well, it's good to finally win a football game. Hello, everybody. Lewis, Norwich City Central. I hope you're all doing well. Huddersfield Town, nil. Norwich City won. Match reaction for myself. I hope you do enjoy the video. And Adam Eder's goal gives Norwich their first win of the season in the opening game. Norwich City far from their best, but at the end of the day, it's all about the three points. I'm really pleased to see Norwich City get them. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comments section. Still a very strange time, obviously, not being able to go to sporting venues and not being able to go back to Cairo with, you know, the new government announcements. But, um, you know, I'd like to think, you know, YouTube and videos online, there can still be a community of Norwich City fans who can come together. So I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section on the game and how Norwich City are doing as well. And if you are new to Norwich City Central, please consider subscribing for consistent match reviews, match previews, social media reactions, and hopefully very soon as well, live streams and maybe match day experiences again down the line. Um, but yeah. One down, only 40, 45 more to go now. But a uh, really impressive. Um, well, it, was, it wasn't particularly a great performance, but it was impressive to see Norris City be gritty and get the win. And Adam Eady gets a 81st minute goal. And Norris City in the Championship of the King of Late Goals. And another goal in the last 10 minutes. And it was uh, the super sub, Adam Eady, after Daniel Farke had brought him on. As I said, I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the comment section. Overall, my overall thoughts, Norris City far from their best, despite all the attacking players kind of kind of we brought in didn't didn't all didn't always gel at times far from our best but the, the most important thing is the three points and you know Huddersfield today a lot of teams have kind of tipping Huddersfield for relegation or you know in and around the bottom six or the bottom seven and yeah Huddersfield didn't look great today they're a team for in transition but they still cause Norris City problems um here here and there they had a good chance kind of in, in the second half so you know, we very nearly didn't win this game in Huddersfield or a poor team. So there's plenty to be excited about, but still got to be quite cautious because this wasn't Norwich City's best performance. But who cares? We've won a game of football. We've won a game of football and after 12 consecutive losses, Norwich City's worst run in their 118 year history. I think you can get excited after after a cheeky 1-0 win and Adam Eder with a great goal. Um, yeah, talking about the game from the start, I like the team news. Uh, Campwell through the middle, Kieran down on the right. Hernandez on the left, who I thought was one of our best players. Skip and McLean in the middle. And uh, yeah, I was quite pleased with the team. Just shows how much crazy squad depth we have. Daniel Sinali, who I think could be a you know, fantastic player for Norris City, couldn't even make the starting 18, which just shows how how hard it is. Jeeperman couldn't get in. Josh Martin, who's in, yes, he's injured, but I don't think he would have got in either. So it just shows how much squad depth Norris City have. Mario Rancic is another one who couldn't get, get in. I mean, Lucas Rupp, um, in Daniel Farker's mind is, is, is a better player than Mario Rancic. I don't agree with that at all, but um, that's what Daniel Farker thinks. But no, really, really positive team news. And in terms of the game, the first half did feel like a pre-season. Um, if you guys did watch it, in terms of how you watch these games, um, if you are a season ticket holder, um, you will be able to access all, all the games on iFollow and all the away games which aren't at three o'clock. Um, if you do want to access away games, you have to pay £10 for the I follow pass. Um, that's in the UK anyway. Um, season ticket holders don't get that away away luxury. Um, but no, the, the first half, if you did watch it, felt like a pre-season game. And well done for staying awake for it. It was incredibly boring. Huddersfield had a couple of good spells where they had a couple of you know decent set pieces, but Norris City defended them well. Um, and Norris City only really threatened to through Hono Hernandez, who had a decent first half. But the first half felt very boring and dull and you know it was kind of a pre-season warm-up to get the players back 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 to full fitness but their second half was, was a lot more explosive and there was a lot more chances Huddersfield as I said they are a team tipped near the bottom and I can see why Alex Pritchard who the who the hell is Alex Pritchard um he's really he's really shot shot himself in the foot with his career choices he could have been a, a star in Daniel Farker's team but Alex Pritchard is rotting away at Huddersfield um and yeah Huddersfield as I said, you can see why they're near the bottom. They don't quite have that belief um, in front of goal. And you can see they're going through a transition. They had a good chance with their striker early on in the second half. A good, powerful shot, but it just went wide of Team Cool's goal. And then Norris City really grew in the game, kind of from the 55th minute onwards. Ono Hernandez, who I thought was our best attacking player, always so lively. And what a big season I think he's going to have. Brilliant run inside, cuts inside, 20 yards out. Powerful shot, good save by the Huddersfield goalkeeper and Pruki almost gets on the end of the rebound. Um, there's a couple of interesting penalty calls as well. One in the first half, Norris City should have had a Stonewall penalty, hits the guy's elbow, can, couldn't, couldn't be any more Stonewall. And the second one, Max Aarons gets fouled in the box, which I think should have been a penalty as well. But on the other hand, Todd Cantwell, 
and could have easily have seen red as well. So uh, it's very interesting if VAR would have been in the championship because I think we'd have got a penalty out of the game and possibly a red card um, from Todd Cantwell. But at the end of the day, VAR in the current form, in my opinion, is not fit for purpose. So, you know, it's, it's good it's not in the championship. And with referees, <laughs> with championship referees and VAR, that sounds like a recipe for disaster. Um, but no, Norwich City ended up, kind of say, getting into the game. Huddersfield defended well and we didn't really quite click into, into you know, third gear, really. But the sub of Adam Eder really helped us and Pajeta as well. I thought that gave us a bit more energy, a bit more uh, a bit more directness as well. And um, it was really good to see Norwich City end up getting get the game and, and getting the win in the 81st minute. It's an absolutely bizarre goal and sometimes you need a stroke of luck and that's what Norwich City got. Um, we didn't get any of this luck in the Premier League, but a huge stroke of luck. Richard Stearman, I think it was, on the halfway line, plays an absolutely ferocious um, an absolutely atrocious back um, back pass to his goalkeeper doesn't even reach him halfway, and then Puki runs onto it, and um, very similar to the Russell Martin and um, back pass in that five four crazy five four game against Liverpool several years ago. But Puki runs onto it. He's one on one. He's in the eighteen yard box. Is he going to shoot? Nope. The Huddersfield player kind of tries to tackle him and goes to the floor. And then Puki squares it across to Adam Eder, who smashes it into the bot, uh, smashes it into the net, and it was a really, really, you know, nice goal. I think when Puki was running through one on one, you, you can look at it on two sides. One, I, I think he did lack a little bit of confidence. I think he should have shot himself. But two, does really well, really good composure from Puki, not to rush the ball across, wait for the Huddlesfield player to commit with a dive, and then puts it through to Adam Eder, who from six yards out smashes the ball home. And Norris City looked really good from there. Didn't really look like conceding. Tim Krul claimed a couple of really good um, crosses. And Tim Krul's going to be, I think, you know, he's going to have another really good season for Norris City. But no, Norris City did really well. And uh, could have made it 2-0 as well. Puki um, having a good strike from the edge of the box. But the keeper made a save. And for me, Puki, I think, had a good game. I think he's still lacking a little bit of confidence in, in, in the final third. But I thought he had a good game. And Norris City get the win. By far, you know, they weren't impressive. Norwich City didn't really get out of third, fourth gear. Um, and at times it did feel like a pre-season game. But the most important thing, Norwich City got the win. And there's only 45 more games to go now. But playing like that, um, you know, I think they're going to do well. Of course, there's things to improve on. But, you know, it's a good start for Norwich City. And the most important thing is those precious three points. In terms of my man, the match and the players who I thought were impressive, Quintilla came in at left back for Norwich City in, in place of Jamal Lewis and... Thought looked really comfortable, went forward well, put a couple of nice crosses in. Um, my man in the match, though, was Max Ahrens. Um, we'd be a very, very lucky team to keep hold of Max Ahrens because a lot of clubs will be interested in him. And he just oozes quality. He's a Premier League player, without a doubt. A fantastic fullback, better than Jamal Lewis, in my opinion. But Max Ahrens is, is a brilliant player who's going to go on to do really good things. Um, and I thought he was fantastic. And Hernandez, as well, played, I thought, had a good game. He'll play a big part for us. And, of course, Adam Eder. Um, coming on and being the super sub and being the difference is always great to see. So that's my thoughts. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below as Norris City return to the championship and end that horrific 12-game consecutive losses with a win against Huddersfield. That's our first win since February and hopefully we can kick on now against Sat on Saturday against Preston and get another three points. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Norris City Central if you're new and I'll see you later.